Hi, this video shows you how to use the if command in a link inside Ellipse E3. Opening Ellipse E3. In this example, I have an application with an IO driver linked to Ellipse Modbus Simulator, where, depending on tag value, the engine object's color changes. 0 for power off, 1 for power on, and 2 for maintains. This is executed with a table link, where this verification happens. The goal of this application is when the communication with my device is lost, in this case with Modbus Simulator, the engine's status is displayed. In other words, the color of the engine changes when the communication is lost. However, this communication failure is not displayed by tag 1, but by an IO kit tag called physical layer status instead. Opening the driver. I have both tag 1 and physical layer status. To access it, press the tag browser button, IO kit, general, and drag the physical layer status to the application. This tag has three possible values, value 0, when there is no communication, value 1, when there was communication but it was lost, and value 2, when there is communication. When I run the communication, the physical layer status returns the connection value. Opening the screen again, I will need to change the existing link in this engine. At the Overhide Fill Color Property Source column, in addition to tag1 value, I will need to use the physical layer status value. So, I will copy the physical layer status value and paste it onto tag1 value. First, I will use the if command with two eyes. Now I will test the physical layer status value. If the value is not 2, the value returned to this link is 5. If the value in the physical layer status is 2, I will use the values returned by the tag. That is, when I paste this onto the link, if the value at physical layer status is not 2, which means communication fail, the link will return 5. I will put the value in red and blink it with yellow to show communication fail. If the physical layer status value is 2, I will use the values returned by the driver, which are 0, 1, or 2. Now I will test this configuration. The tag with value 0 returns gray, 1 returns blue, and 2 returns yellow. Now, I will force the communication fail. I will stop the communication with Modbus Simulator and the color will be changed in the object. This is how the EEF command works inside the link in Ellipse E3. Thanks for watching and subscribe.